Hey guys, welcome back to another grocery haul. We are in the Walmart parking lot getting ready to head in and I have no idea what I'm getting because I don't have a list and I didn't meal plan this week, um, which is totally not like me. I don't know how people can cook without having a meal plan for the week. So <laughs> we're gonna go in and hopefully I don't blow the budget by not having a grocery list and not having a meal plan. a spaghetti squash in forever. Have you guys ever seen the Christmas Nutty Buddies? I have never ever seen these. I think we might get them and try them. Well, Tonight. the kids will try them. And my husband, he likes Nutty Buddy bars. I like them. You like them? One downside of doing grocery pickup is you don't get to see the cool stuff in the store. Like I've never seen these. It's silicone up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. It has a little cloth inside and it comes in those different colors. And it's $7.96. That is so cute. I like that. They have the peppermint mocha out, but I don't have a Keurig. <laughs> so one box is $10.98. Yep. Isabella found the ground in a bag. Peppermint mocha. Mm. Should I or shouldn't I? So cool. Holiday Oreos out. There's supposed to be five different designs. This one has snowflakes. Snowman. So here's the five designs. Snow Day, Snowman, Snowflake, Mittens, and a pink one. The cream inside is red. How cute. We have apple pie. I guess these were kind of like Oreos, but it's the Great Value brand. Apple pie. And then the fudge striped. Ooh, those look good. You need some last minute Halloween treats. Walmart has a ton. This is something I've never seen. It's great value apple cinnamon trail mix. And then we have the fall maple trail mix. And a harvest trail mix. It has little, little candy corns in it. It looks like these are $6.98. For a bag. Aren't these adorable? Unicorn tart rainbow cheesecake dessert. You could easily make this on your own just using food coloring. But how Mommy. cute is that? What I just found at Walmart. Oh my goodness. They don't have the confectioners here, but I will definitely start getting it here now. Alright, here's some winter mint ding dongs sure if those will be good or not. And they Ooh, also yeah. have mint chocolate. Mint chocolate Twinkies. Twinkies. And they have the holiday cupcakes. So these look interesting, but I'm not going to get them because they're six grams of net carbs. I think I could make them myself and be a little less carbs, but I think it's neat that they have them in the store. They're in the freezer section if you're interested in them. Gingerbread. And the peppermint mocha. This is one of our favorite Christmas movies. So I think I will definitely be coming back for the elf cookies one night. I think that would be fun to bake some cookies and watch the movie. I'm really surprised at how much gluten-free items they have now, which is great. No shopping trip would be complete without my favorite swaggery sausage. We are back home. I have all the groceries set up, so let me show you what we got. It's a lot of junk food. Both kids were with me, 
Both kids were hungry after school. This is what we got. This is new to me. I have never had these before. I know a lot of people rave about these. I think um, Kara from Kara's Corner over on Instagram, and she has a YouTube channel as well. She likes these, and I've seen some others. There's a bunch of other um, Instagrammers and YouTubers that really like the White Claw, so I thought I would give it a try. It is two grams of carbs for one can. It's gluten-free, natural flavors, and it has 5% alcohol in it. So I'm actually going to have one tonight. It's been one of those days, y'all. It's Tuesday and I am having one of these. <laughs> so don't judge or judge if you want. I don't care. <laughs> um, I also got some Milo's tea. This is new to me. I got the no calorie, it's zero carbs. I have never tried this before. I normally get diet sweet tea from Publix, but I didn't go to Publix today, so I'm gonna try this. I believe it is McKenzie from Carla McKenzie that likes the Milo's. I hope I'm correct on that. If not, somebody correct me, please. I hope it's good because I don't think it was quite as expensive as Publix is. And then y'all saw this in the store, my Swaggerty sausage. I love this stuff and I got some Swiss cheese. I was looking in the refrigerator earlier today and I saw that we still had some pulled pork and I think it was like bottom round roast or something that I had done in the crock pot last week or week before, I don't remember. But I thought about doing some sliders with that meat. So I got some um, Hawaiian rolls. You'll see that in just a little bit. So I'm gonna heat that up. I hope it tastes good. And then I got some mandarin oranges for the kids. I hope they eat them. The last time I bought some, they ended up not eating them. They both said they would. We shall see. I also got some Twix. This is new to us. Neither one of the girls has tried this before. They always get the Oreo yogurts. So we'll see if this is any good. And we got some Bob Evans mac and cheese. They really like this. I should have got the regular size because I'm not going to be eating any of it, but I'm sure it won't go to waste. We can always put it back in the fridge and they can heat it up after school. And then these are so good. The broccoli and cheese bites. I show you guys this in my upcoming what's for dinner. I did it in the air fryer and they were so, so good. They're a little high on the carb count. I believe it's Six bites for nine net carbs. Let's see. Yeah, six bites. Six bites for nine net carbs. It is a lot, but I really like these just for like a little treat. You know, aside if the kids are having tater tots or something, then I'll fix those for myself. I really like them. Dip them in some sugar-free ketchup and we are good to go. It's really good. And then Isabella wanted some Frosty Mini Wheats, so I got the family size. And Amelia has not been liking the cups of applesauce in her lunch. She doesn't mind eating it at home, but in her lunch she wants the little pouches. I guess it's just a little bit easier for her. So I ended up getting another box of pouch applesauce. And this is for Isabella's lunch tomorrow. It's a sub Cheez-Its, um, a bottle of water with a little packet of Kool-Aid and a Rice Krispie treat. And then Amelia wanted the pizza for her Lunchables. And y'all, I pack Amelia's lunch every single day for um, pre-K. So I'm just really tired this week. And I know it's only Tuesday, but Tomorrow, this is what she's having for her lunch, and I don't feel guilty about it. So if you do Lunchables, don't feel guilty about it. All the other days that I pack her lunch, she's getting a good healthy lunch. <laughs> and also, Thursday at her preschool on Halloween, they um, are ordering uh, Happy Meals from McDonald's. So two days this week, she's not having the greatest lunch, but it's okay. It's all about balance, right? And then I got some more tater tots because I used up all of the other ones the other night. And you guys saw these in the store. I did go ahead and get them. I'm uh, gonna see if my husband likes them or not. They look good. They look really good. I love Nutty Buddies. <laughs> 
And Amelia likes the yogurt flavored raisins. So I got her a pack of these. These will be good to throw in her lunch. And some mint Oreo cookies. And some crunchy granola bars. Every time Amelia is around her grandma, she always takes her granola bars. So I remembered to get the crunchy kind. We've been getting the chewy kind, but she really likes the crunchy kind as well. So I did go ahead and get her some of those so that she can quit bumming off of grandma. And then some checkers or rallies out here in Florida, it's checkers. I don't think we have any rallies here. I think that's more like California area maybe. I don't know. Um, ours is called checkers and Amelia, not Amelia, Isabella really likes checkers. So I'm gonna do these in the air fryer. I don't know if we're gonna have that with the sliders tonight or the mac and cheese, I'm not sure. These are for my husband and for the girls if they want them. The chocolate dipped vanilla ice cream cones. They're really good. They Normally I buy the different variety kind, but there's always one flavor that nobody likes and then it goes to waste. So this time I was smart and just bought the plain Jane vanilla. And Isabella wanted some fudge brownies. Amelia wanted some party brownies not brownies, muffins, party muffins, and some Pop-Tarts for breakfast. And I got my husband some raisins and some more butter. Isabella said we didn't have any in the garage refrigerator, so hopefully she's right. The last time, it's kind of a joke in her house now because the last time I asked her, Isabella, is do we have butter out in the garage? No, we don't have any, we're almost out. And I come home and there's a huge thing of butter in the garage refrigerator. And then I got a spaghetti squash. I don't know when I'm gonna do this, I have no idea. Like I said, I went in with no meal plan, no grocery list. I got an English cucumber and some mushrooms, these were on sale, so I did go ahead and get these. What I'll do is saute these in some garlic butter, and it will be so good, and it is keto, so good to go on that. And I got some gala apples. I was gonna get Honeycrisp apples. They were, I think, $1.98 a pound, and then I saw the gala apples, and they were only 98 cents a pound, so I was like, oh, girls, you're getting the gala apples, sorry. So I only got four of these, there's a bad spot. I just don't want them to go to waste. So I only got four of those. And then I got two zucchinis. I'm gonna do these up in the air fryer. I think I'm going to dip them in some crushed pork rinds and then put them in the air fryer and see how that is. And some more avocados and broccoli. I still have some of the veggie dip left over from my Hocus Pocus treats. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it up here in the cards so you can watch it. It is pretty hilarious, so make sure you go watch that if you haven't seen it yet. And then Isabella wanted some sparkling ice, so she got three different flavors. And then I have never had these bang drinks, and I see people drinking them all the time. I know In With Gin drinks these, so I have no idea what they taste like, if they're any good, there's no carbs in them. So I figured for a dollar, I would give two of them a try. This one is the peach mango, and this one is Frosé Rosé. So we shall see. I might take this to work tomorrow. And I got Amelia some more mini pancakes. These are so good to just pop in the microwave, or I wonder what they would be like in the air fryer. If you guys don't know, my mother-in-law let me borrow one of their air fryers and I'm trying different things to see if I like it, to see if I wanna get one. So if y'all have ever tried mini pancakes in the air fryer, let me know if they're any good. But these are good for Amelia's lunch. Sometimes I'll heat them up in the morning just a little bit, wrap them in aluminum foil and put them in her lunch and do a little bit of syrup in her Bentgo lunch container. And she really likes that. Here are the uh, Hawaiian rolls that I'm gonna do the sliders on tonight. I hope they're good. And the girls wanted some raisin cinnamon bread. They can toast this in the morning, put a little bit of butter on it, and that will be their breakfast with maybe some bacon or something. And then I was completely out of my low carb tortillas. 
there's another brand that has five grams of carbs, but they didn't have any at Walmart, so I ended up getting the six grams of carbs. And we had a gallon, there it is, it's behind me. I got a gallon of organic milk as well. So that is it. Just a minute, baby. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. My total was $143. Normally I spend about a hundred a week. I didn't need any meat because I have my order from Butcher Box. And if you haven't seen that video, I will link it up at the top as well. Cause that was a really good deal. I think on good organic grass fed uh, beef and pork. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, tap on the bell so you don't miss any videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.